um, suspended by beginnings, blackness, your hands a conversation of blackness. You walk your light into every dark season. As you talk, the night pause with longing for your aroma of words. You were motion, sailing amid the stars. You a postcard in an album called Family. And what was so wonderful about that place is that you were there for two hours and you were family. Yes. I don't know, it's so hard to talk to young people sometimes who really don't know what it was to stand up someplace and say, I'm black. Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all do it. And I watch you and I applaud you, but do you know what it was in New York City, my home, before they kicked me out of there? My home, when I got to say, I'm a black woman, and some people, boo, New Yorkers. They said, no, I'm a Negro. Said, you know, you know, you know. But we said, be black. Hey, Sister Janetta, be black. Another bad sister sitting over there. We black. We black. And you know what kept me on stage? Because I wanted to cry. You know, I wanted to dissolve on that stage. I wanted to just back away. But I remember my grandmother, Mama, who ran the church in Alabama, and who stood up when the brothers started talking about how terrible these women were in the Bible, always doing what they did to men. And those sisters in that white used to go to the back of the church and wouldn't do any more work and they folded their arms and just watched that man talk about them. I remember that. And I remember I stood on that stage and I didn't collapse and I didn't cry. And I said, that's what I am, a black woman. Yes. And some of you who teach in these schools, some of you who teach, and I remember this brother beginning to teach when we walked into a classroom, people looked at me and said, what's she doing here? She's a woman. She's a black woman. You gotta hear that, that history that we came. And I stood still and strong because I remember mama, my grandmother in a place called Birmingham, Alabama. How it, today and yesterday, the Schomburg, a magic city, stitching black pores on oceans. You taught while switchblade tongues outsourced the country. As you talk, the night pause with our black flesh. You are motion sailing amid pyramids. In a circle of touch, your hands whisper family. Your lectures throw themselves into the middle of mornings. In a circle of smoke, your hands whisper, Reeses, 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 can you say it, Reeses, Reeses, can you say it, Reeses, Reeses, can you do it, Reeses, can you do it, Reeses, can you do it, Reeses, and all the finery, can you resist? Because if you don't resist this time, if we don't resist this time, if we don't come together this time, if we don't stop talking against each other this time, if we don't keep damning each other and being disrespectful, then you might as well just pull down the shade, get your little smoke and smoke. <laughs> it all away because these are dangerous times. And the thing that I wanted to remember and want you to remember when you look at this man, when you look at this man, you look at him, remember that there in a place called Atlanta, in that little place called Atlanta, yes. where the books were on the floor, yes. we yes. had even put them up on the shelf, yes. people. Yes. You know, when people were walking in and out and said, who yes. are you? I yes. said, Sister Sonia, yes. oh good, welcome. When they said, sit down, get us some tea, yes. and let's get to work. And the work was yes. about you. Young brothers and sisters, I'm talking to you. Because we knew you were coming. We knew you had to come. We knew that we had waited for you a long time and you cannot, you must not disappoint us because yeah. we will come ghost-like and get you if you do. Okay? <laughs> but I love you. I love you. All my life, 
But I found him in a place called Harlem, in a place called the Schomburg. Found me, people. I have never betrayed you. I have lost houses. I have lost jobs. I lost the city when they put me out of the city, people. You don't know. When I went to a place called Amherst, and the men put my furniture down and put my bookcase up and put my books on the shelf and left at 12 o'clock, I cried. I said, how can I live in Amherst when I'm a New Yorker? But they had said, you will not teach what you teach, what you teach in a place called New York City. But the next morning, you know, you cry at night, but when you have children at 6 o'clock, I stopped crying, got in the shower, got dressed, woke them up, put it in my little Volkswagen, walked and drove to Main Street, made a right turn, and at the light, standing on the corner, was Max Roach, Archie Shep, and a brother who worked at the radio station, I can't think of his name now, and they came around to the court, I honked the horn, and they said, Sonia, they told us you were coming. Welcome. Now, the work continues. Yes. My dear brother, yes. the work continues. Yes.